Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and of course Arnie hopes you're doing well too. Now a few weeks ago I put out a video on five of the largest freshwater fish in the world and in that video I went over a few reasons as to why nobody's really sure which is the largest species in the world. But as some of you pointed out in the comments, there is a lot more fish that could be added to that list. So if you haven't watched that previous video I recommend you go back and watch it as those five are considered to be the largest in the world. But today I'll be going through five more that are pretty close. And we'll start off in the place where the majority of the large freshwater fish come from and that's the Mekong River. And in these murky waters lurks the largest carp in the world, the giant Siamese carp. Now these river monsters are usually found in pools along the edges of large rivers, but can also be found in canals and flooded forests. And unlike a lot of other fish in their family, instead of being found in large shoals, they are strangely normally found in pairs. And this is particularly strange, as most species of freshwater fish are either solitary or are found in groups. And personally I think it's quite cute, as each fish has a buddy. The giant Siamese carp is a migratory fish, and they move up and down river to favourable areas for both feeding and breeding. And similarly to the giant Mekong catfish, they are also mainly vegetarian as they feed on algae, plankton and fruits that drop into the water. But as I covered in the last video, most of the large species of fish in the Mekong are in decline and this is because of the development of damming and as this is a migratory species, this fish's numbers have been hit hard. But their numbers also haven't been helped by overfishing as the giant Siamese carp is a popular food fish in many countries in which the Mekong travels through. And it was once said that this fish could reach a massive 3 meters long which is around 9.8 feet and weigh up to 660 pounds. But none of these sizes have been officially recorded, so there's no way to guarantee that any fish was this large. And because of their decline, these giants are even rarer nowadays, as no individual weighing more than 330 pounds has been caught in Cambodia since 1994. And today the maximum length of this fish is thought to be around 1.8 meters or 6 feet, and weigh up to 330 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same weight as an adult giant panda. So by no means is it a small fish, but it has the capacity to grow much larger. And today it is listed as critically endangered, so hopefully more can be done to rescue this species from extinction. But for our next species, we'll be travelling over to South America, as there's a very large catfish that lurks in these waters, and it's a catfish that many of you thought should be in the first list, and it is the Piraiba. Now as I'm sure most of you know, there are a lot of mean fish in the Amazon, and a piranha could do a lot of damage to you if it was starving and you were in the water, but as many owners would tell you, they tend to be quite timid in the aquarium. They are not the monsters that they're portrayed to be in Hollywood films. And then we have the Arapaima, and although this fish is very very large and could be dangerous in the right situation, it shows little or no interest in humans and is generally quite peaceful. But the Piraiba is quite scary, as not only is it very large, but it's also extremely powerful and has a mouth that can swallow very large prey items. And the Piraiba almost looks like a mix between a shark and a catfish, as if you removed its head and showed it to a friend, I'm sure that they would think it was a shark. And this athletic body tells us a lot about its lifestyle, as unlike some catfish that are sluggish bottom dwellers, this fish is a very fast swimming ambush predator as this fish is normally found in the faster moving waters of the Amazon and is also known to venture into brackish waters where the Amazon finally meets the sea. And it also shares another behavioural trait with the shark as they're a migratory species and are thought to have the longest migration of any freshwater fish. As some populations are thought to migrate around 5,500 kilometres which would explain why they have to be so streamlined. And the largest specimen recorded was around 2.8 metres long which is around 9.2 feet and this fish weighed in at 365 pounds. And this statistic may make you think twice before taking a dip in the Amazon River because as I'm sure many of you know, catfish aren't too picky on what they eat. And some species such as the Wells catfish have been known to eat birds and small mammals that enter the water. And it seems that the Piraiba has the same mentality as there's rumours that this fish will snatch children and isn't afraid to attack people. And if a 2.8 metre specimen grabbed hold of you in the water, you stand very little chance. So I think this species will win the award for scariest fish on this list. But for our next river monster will be heading over to China and more specifically the Yangtze River. But first I have a bit of an ambition to make as I am cheating for this next entry because the species I'll be talking about is actually extinct as it's not some long extinct prehistoric fish as there's thought to be some specimens still alive in the Yangtze in around 2005 and I am of course talking about the Chinese paddlefish. Now the only paddlefish or spoonbill alive today is of course the American species but the Chinese paddlefish lived a very different life.
life. And I am cheating in two ways here, as not only is it extinct, but it also spent part of its life at sea, so it's not a true freshwater fish. And unlike its close relative, the Chinese paddlefish was largely piscivorous and preyed on small to medium sized fish. And there are many theories as to why this species went extinct, as China doesn't have the best record with endangered species, and overfishing definitely played a significant role, but the main cause was thought to be the construction of large dams along the Yangtze River. And for another large migratory species, this is basically a death sentence, as they are no longer able to properly breed, and individual fish become trapped by these dams, and can no longer fill out their life cycle by going out to sea and returning to spawn. And this should really go down as a warning sign, as I'm sure many large fish will suffer the same fate that the Chinese paddlefish did. But in its heyday, this fish really was a giant, as it was said to reach a mass of 3 meters long or 10 feet, and weigh up to around 660 pounds. And to put that in perspective, that's two giant Siamese carp. But unfortunately, this river monster is no longer with us, so I did kind of cheat twice. But for our next species, we'll be staying in Asia, as we have the Goonch catfish. Now this fish is quite widely distributed in Asia, but is mainly found in India, Nepal and Bangladesh. And in these areas, it tends to inhabit large river channels, and is typically associated with faster flowing turbulent rapids. And in these waters, it takes shelter among the boulders, where it waits for its food. And when you take a look at this fish, it is quite a flattened species. And this body shape means that it could stay at the bottom of rivers in very fast flow, without wasting any energy. And then it can use its powerful tail and large mouth to snap up any prey items. And it really does have some great weaponry to do this with, as it's one of the few larger catfish with some rather nasty pointed teeth. And this is yet another large catfish that seems to be feared by many people, as there are many claims that a man-eating goonch catfish attacked separate people in three different villages between 1998 and 2007. And these rumours might actually have some weight behind them, because as we covered, giant catfish tend to be pretty adventurous when they're hunting. And because of where it's usually found in rapids, if it did grab someone, you really have little chance of reaching the surface. And although it doesn't reach the same size as the piraiba, it's still an impressive length, as the maximum recorded length is around 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet and this fish weighed around 220 pounds. And I really wouldn't want to share the water with one of these monsters. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to Africa, as we have the Nile perch. Now I have to admit, I am kind of cheating on this one too, as this fish can also be found in brackish waters. But most specimens are caught in rivers, and it can be found in the Congo, the Nile, as well as Lake Victoria. Now the Nile perch is a very efficient predator, as it has a very large protruding mouth, which makes it a great ambush predator. And it's so efficient, in fact, as when it was first introduced, into Lake Victoria, it greatly reduced the number of cichlids in the lake, as these cichlids were not used to such a large predator, and it was easy pickings for the Nile perch. And in Africa, the Nile perch is a very popular food fish, as it's a relative of the snook and the barramundi, which are also very well known for their taste. And it seems that humans have had quite a long relationship with this fish, as there's evidence that Egyptians cultivated this fish along with tilapia around 4,000 years ago. And on the diet of mainly tilapia, the Nile perch can reach a mass of 2 meters, or 6 6.6 feet long, and these fish can weigh up to 230 pounds. And because of the global decline in river monsters, this may remain the largest for some time. But that's about it for this list. If you have any other river monsters that you think may be the largest freshwater fish in the world, let me know down in the comments below, and I might make a part three. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.